Okay, so what we're going to do today is place a Plurex drain, which is a long-term drain used for draining ascites. So this is a patient with malignant ascites who's had frequent percutaneous drainages before, which means hospital admission on each occasion. So placing a Plurex drain, which is a very quick and straightforward procedure, a bit like placing a Hickman line, will allow her to have drainages performed at home without having to be admitted to hospital. So what we'll do now, we'll have a look with the ultrasound and plan where we're going to place this Plurex drain. So this will be cold on your tummy again. So you can see a lot of ascites, particularly down into the pelvis. So the actual skin puncture site is going to be here, aiming into the pelvis. Then the Plurex drain will come under the skin and will come out here. So it's a, exactly like a tunneled Hickman line. And it'll have a cuff about halfway along it to fix it into place. I'm happy with that. That's where our puncture is going to be. So I'm going to put some local anaesthetic into your skin first. This is going to be a sharp scratch coming up now. And it might sting a little bit, hopefully not too much, okay? Now I'm going to anaesthetise all the way through into the peritoneum. Uh, we've got ascites back there, so all the way through. Just anaesthetising a bit more skin here, because this is where we're going to have a suture to fix into, into place until the cuff has adhered. So now what I'm going to do is take a spinal needle and we're going to go under the skin to anaesthetise the track, but I'm just going to very carefully bend this so I can steer it. So more anaesthetic now. And we're just going to steer this along up towards our exit site. And then we're going to come all the way back anaesthetic all the way along that track. So we've got lots of anaesthetic in there. And we're going to make a small incision at our puncture site. Now we're going to take the Plurex drain So the actual Plurex drain is in this packet here and it's just like a thick Hickman line with a valve on the end, multiple side holes along the tube, and then the cuff which is going to be about halfway along our tunnel. So what we need to do now is make our puncture and this is a little bit like a Seldinger a needle. It's got a plastic sheath over the outside, so a bit like a Venflon if you like. We're going to pop that in, uh, we're going to aspirate and we're going to put a guide wire in. And once we've done that we're going to make a tunnel, then we're going to use the peel away sheath to place the actual drain. So I'm just going to take my guide wire and have that handy. So a bit of pushing now, so what we can do, we can just check with ultrasound before we do this, check we're absolutely happy with that position. And we can actually see it on the ultrasound there. I'm keeping this as a very steep puncture. Bit of pushing now, okay? And that's us through into the, into the peritoneal cavity. We've got fluid coming back, so we can slide that sheath forward and you'll see the fluid will come out. So now I'm just going to advance this J guide wire in. This might tickle a little bit inside. It can irritate your bladder sometimes making sure we've got plenty of wire in there. So keeping that fed forward, coiled up within the peritoneum, we can then take that out, leave the wire. So what I'm doing now is I've got my tunneler and I've put a slight bend on the tunneler so again I can steer it a bit like I did with a spinal needle. Just going to lay that there and we're going to make a small incision for our exit site, which is going to be here. Does that feel sharp, what I'm doing now? Is that okay? Can't feel anything. Excellent, good. So that's going to be our exit site. I'm just going to make that one slightly bigger, because we need the peel away sheath in there as well. Right, so we're just going to take our tunnel and we're going to go from the outside bit here all the way along. With the tunneler, we're going to come out through there. We're going to hold our wire so we don't pull it all the way out when we come through. We're going to take the cuff along here 
about halfway and that's as ready to pop this in we're going to take the tunneler off we now need to advance the peel away sheath in now if you look this peel away sheath can actually go an awful long way so you've got to be confident you've got the distance if you're going to put it right up to the hilt generally i don't put it all the way in because you can't really see how far that's going to go so there's going to be quite a lot of pushing now okay anything too sore you let me know so i'm just going to rotate it as it goes keeping the same angle we originally had and i can feel that's in already so i'm just going to hold my central bit in the wire advance this peel away bit slightly further forward very gently we're going to have plenty of gauze here because there's going to be a lot of leakage of ascites we're going to take that out and we're going to feed that in and once the side holes are in it will stop leaking but the side holes come a long way along this plurex drain a long way along it which is good because it means they're less likely to get blocked we're now going to peel the peel away sheath away just going to pop that back through there so we're not tangled. Peel that away. I'm going to keep forward pressure on it, peeling it away. And that is the Plurex drain in. So now what we need to do is put a suture in there, a suture here to hold it, and pop some dressings on it. Then we're going to drain the fluid off. So we have a 1 0 handheld suture, which is just here. And be careful we don't nick the drain when we pop that in. It's going to come out through there. I'm just going to tie that off. You okay? Yeah, yeah, fine. Good. It's nearly finished. That suture can come out in about 10 days time. Now we're going to suture this top bit a little bit like with a Hickman line. So I'm just going to close the wound up slightly. Just to make it a little bit tighter. Just to help hold the drain with the cuff. I'm going to tie this bit off to start with and then we're going to go round the drain a couple of times just to make it a little bit more secure and that will hold it until the cuff has taken effect. Now the thing to note about the Plurex drains they will connect straight away to the drainage bottles that come with them but rather than using one of those in the first instance where we've got a lot of ascites, we're just going to connect this up to a normal drainage bag. So you take the end off here, make sure you turn this off and it's a push and turn connection. That's it locked. That's the bit that the patient can connect and disconnect when they're connecting to bags. This would normally go into the bottle but you'll see it's a male law lock. So to put this onto a standard drainage bag, you need to use a three-way tap. Put that onto there, and then our drainage bag, which we have here, we're going to connect onto the side. And if I turn that round like that, I open the tap up, we should get good free drainage of ascites. And there we go. So all we need to do now is clean this up, pop some dressings on and this patient will be able to go back to the ward and hopefully home later on.